Welcome to Six Pack Philosophy, where we take philosophy, mix it with beer, and apply it to the questions you deal with every day. Welcome to a special episode of Six Pack Philosophy. Um, to partner with our recent episode that hasn't gone out on our podcast feed yet. Flat Earth. On Flat Earth. Yeah. Um, we are actually going to be doing a response video to a video by a channel called Cast Trending called Proof That the Earth is Flat, parenthetical, 100 best, 100% best evidence our planet is flat, comma, all caps, NASA exposed. I'm excited about this, yes. uh, you know, because I'm, I'm ready to be convinced. Should be lots of fun. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm game. Well, and two things before we get started. What uh, are we first, drinking, guys? No. Oh, sorry. Eh. That's, how that, uh, that's what normally follows that That phrase. is what normally works. So, uh, uh, two, two things. First of all, uh, if you want to get things like this, make sure and click that subscribe button and make sure the mm, there bell it goes. There it goes. is clicked. Um, and the other thing is, if you would have liked to have seen the Flat Earth Show before this, uh, you can join the ranks of our Patreon where you get to see our shows get recorded live. Live, you, yeah. Yeah, you, know. you get to see all the fuck-ups and everything. Yep. Yeah. Uh, All right, let's get started. So let's uh, let's see what we got here. There we go. Good music. Yeah, yeah. So far, so good. So About two years if we ago, stop here, we're good. In late 2014, early 2015, I was exposed to the flat Earth theory. Though at the time I was intrigued by the idea, I still thought it was impossible. I kept looking at it anyway. Some things I yeah. laughed at. Some things made me think to myself, "Hmm." That actually makes sense. Yeah, so from just lost January me. 2015 <laughs> to October 2015, it became an everyday thing for me to wake up. This is how Ten months. Okay. Yeah. Because sit down and look at the some people, theory. you know, spent years and years studying physics and, and uh, After ten months of examining geology and all the other things that go into figuring out explaining why the world is own, the way it is. It became quite clear that the flat earth is the truth. Do we know the exact layout of the flat the, earth? The, the no. flat earth is the truth. No. But I still believe that no, the Gleason's don't. map is possibly the real deal. <laughs> but I'm not certain. Jackie one thing Gleason's I know map. for sure is that no one has debunked it. It's all That's okay, why he always said straight stop to the it, moon. Stop it, stop it, Mr. Producer. Uh, one, like thing that, one thing that he knows for certain is that no one has debunked this map. Um, anybody think they can debunk this map? Yeah. Uh, the penis um, in the middle. Africa's really tiny. Uh, well, you know, you're talking about perspective here. Uh, this is a um, th this is the Gleason map, which is kind of a takeoff of the Azmuthal map that you'll see you'll see in a lot of places. Um, although, if you look at this, the the, the perspectives are are the, it's, everything's kind of kind of crushed together here. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's what happens when you take a round object and put it a on a on something, flat, uh, something that's spherical and put right. it put it on a flat surface. You end up with Something that looks like like this, where everything in the northern hemisphere will look smaller, and everything in the southern hemisphere would look well, larger. And and I think if we look at Australia, just the 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 the, the it's like a little strip of land. Yeah, if we look at the proportions there, I think you could easily measure Australia and see is it like a, a frito shaped, <laughs> or is it more rounded like a like a ruffles? like a frito scoop. Yeah. Uh, it it, it, it kind of looks like a penis, actually. It's interesting. No, that's the thing in the middle where oh, the, okay. the okay. North Pole is, and then yeah. you see up to up into the right. Yeah, it's it's a penis. Yeah, I know. Wait, I'm, I'm convinced because Australia kind of does look like a penis. So. Okay, <laughs> it does. It does. Right, <laughs> let's go. All right, let's let, let's go on. Please show why it doesn't work. To me, it makes sense that Gleason's map is accurate because it easily converts into the globe model, and that's how this discussion well, does. started. They it does easily convert. It's a flat, flat representation. A globe Hold on. Why said, would the map that easily converts live. into right, a globe... Stop. Any, stop. Say it again. Why would a map that easily converts into the globe be proof that <laughs> it's <earth>. flat? <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. Although his, his statement is, is, is accurate when he says that it easily converts to a globe. Yes, right. you are correct. It does easily convert well, to a and, globe. And he's using the word convert really loosely here. Like, also that. Like, honestly, the Earth converts into Pangea. That doesn't mean I believe Pangea is true. Like if, if you, you don't believe Pangea is true? Is. 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 Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean I, I thought we were gonna have another show here. No, no, no. Yeah. But but I mean, you know, if you can manipulate Earth. and like and like contort yeah, things yeah. into a way, that doesn't mean I mean, yeah, he believes it, 
because this fucking map makes sense and he can convert it. Why not just believe this fucking map? Nah, good point. Good point. You know? All right, let's let's go on. People say the Gleason's map is just a flat representation of the globe, which is wrong. Yeah. Because if you look at the bottom corners of the map, it clearly states that the sun moves in circles around the tropics, meaning that the creator of the map knew that the earth didn't move. But also Okay, can we Alexander pause this for Gleason just a second? We have to take into consideration, and this is actually something you'll hear from Flat Earthers a lot, perspective. Because what they're describing here is a perspective from Earth. Um, not an actual description of the layout of the, the well, solar system in this case. Now, G Gleason actually actually was a supporter of, of a Flat Earth later on. Uh, he, he, write, he writes a book about it later on. So, and uh, that's fine. But, but, but a lot of what you hear from flat earthers will be astronauts or scientists talking, saying things in such a way that, that they you can, can take it out of context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you'll hear a lot of that. Okay, go ahead. A book called Is the Bible from Heaven? Is the Earth a Globe? And you can easily see for yourself no, in yes. the book that he is a flat earther. Now, the thing is that his map wasn't released until 1892, but the Flat Earth map, now called the Azimuthal Equidistant map, has been around since about Not the same map. 1000. Right. Not the same earlier. map. Uh, this is actually the, the Azimuth, Azimuthal map. I have a hard time with that. Stop it for just a second. On Earth. Is, is, is one of the best tools for understanding uh, the, the, way, the way a globe lays out. It's one of the best ways to lay a round object out flat mm -hmm. you'll you'll see later on that there's anytime you take something around and try and lay it out flat you're going to have distortions right. this yeah. is one of the, the this fixes that more than anything else does uh not the same map as as, as the gleason map though. yeah because if you see like a rectangular map um there's almost always some sort of disclaimer um in, in yeah, greenland know. always looks massive yeah. right um and or you'll see that it's in like uh it's in these kind of pointed, ovally type shapes, which is a really good way to do it. Yeah, right. Um, and and that's to kind of not kind of that is to uh, accommodate yeah. for the fact that you're taking a sphere and making it into a, something flat. You can actually take like a if you get a globe that you can blow up, yeah, um, and you cut it into quadrants. You can then lay it out, and shockingly, it looks very similar to yeah. a lot of the maps of the world. I used that to do that find. with my geography class. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, here's here's the main reason I can't buy into flat Earth or propaganda. Uh, if you look at this, this image is clearly photoshopped, and beyond that. Uh, none of the map proportions match from one flat earther map to another. Right. I think yeah. this is clear proof. This is CGI. Yeah. This this is clear proof yeah. that that it's a global conspiracy. And they're trying to they're trying to to match up that United Nations map because it's all a it's all a conspiracy. Yeah. I mean, you can see right here in the same image, they're vastly different. Yeah. yeah well, and look at this. Uh, you they, can't they, even see Greenland on the one on the bottom uh, right. They talk about the dome. But from this height, you should be able to see the sun and the moon. I don't see a sun and a moon there. Also that. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, and actually, you can't quite see it on this particular image, but on the far left side of the map, the ice wall <laughs> gets really thin. And I'm just mm -hmm. saying, with global warming, that's the spot that's going to like we're gonna lose first. We're going to lose the ocean. We're all going to die. We, we are. Flat earthers should be terrified on, of global on, warming, by the way. On the bright side, uh, there's going to be a lot more, more, more beachside property. And fish. And fish, yeah. yeah. But no water. Fishing will be easier. You'll be able just to just to scoop them up off the ground as the For ocean For like a recedes. day. Well, you know, whatever. It and the then ground. imagine how it's going to smell. <laughs> it's going to smell terrible because we gonna won't have like, any ice it's gonna to smell like, them. It's going to so, smell like Galveston. That's what it's going to smell oh. like. So all flat earther maps are CGI and it's clearly They, they are. Clearly, clearly. Which comes from 1492. And that's actually around the time that this whole deception started. It was no. during the lifetime of Copernicus and around the time of the creation of the Jesuits. We don't know all the Why? exact details Never because mind. we know that history has been rewritten time and time again to benefit those who have put themselves in charge. But if you are honest with yourself, you Duh. can see clearly that this heliocentric globe earth deception began around 500 years ago. Okay, anyway, stop that for just maps. a second. 
Mm. Uh, the heliocentric theory. What he's saying, what he's doing is he's buying into this argument that that was big in the early uh, or mid 1800s, early 1900s, that Columbus was the first person to prove the the world was round. They're picking that 1492 date. Right. Um, all educated people in 1492 knew the Earth was round. It. They didn't know how big it was. They didn't know right. what was there. They had no idea there was another continent. But they all knew the Earth was round. Uh, we had known that since you know the Greeks, uh, at least. There's there's evidence back to uh, to the second century BC where there where people are are, are showing uh, images are of, a, of, a, a of a spherical earth. Spherical earth. Uh, so this is not a this is not a new idea. Uh, the idea that the first globe was made 500 years ago is just asinine. Yeah. Okay. Let's Moving just on. say for a minute that flat earthers don't have a good map. Okay. Well, either do globe earthers. I can accept that. Check this out. How many of you have ever seen a map? that looked like this before. How many of you have ever seen this map? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Seen that map. Yeah. Isn't this the map that you used? Oh, look K at Greenland. Don't you love how that's so U.S.-centric that they've map. split up? Well, that's, that's a U.S.-made map. <laughs> I know, I know. What is the equator? Right An imaginary there, line where? Yeah. Around the center of the Earth. Then if this map is correct, then the equator must be here, and Chicago has a tropical climate. No. <laughs> or you put the U.S. in the middle because that's what you view as being the most important. Right? Now, here's the USSR, which is no more, of course. Mongolia, you know, if that map China, was made in China, Africa, China would be in the middle. Uh, India, right. Yeah. Pakistan, Afghanistan. It's a round North object. USSR, Mongolia, China, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Twindia is here. We have two Indias. Did you know that? Twindias? Yeah. Now, people, this is a flat-out lie. Look at the size of Greenland. Oh, I also like America. how she said that Africa According was in to your Asia. Social studies teachers, that was what great. What were continents? Largest land masses on the face of the earth, right? Now, do you know the continents? Africa, Asia, Australia, Antarctica, Europe, North America, and South America. Did I say Greenland? Oh, she's so talented. Well, Greenland isn't a continent, but it's a huge land mass according to this map, right? No, no, it's the not. Map Distortion. Is a out lie, people. If you read the legend on the map, here it says, in fact, South America is actually nine times larger than Greenland. Okay, stop it right there. <laughs> She says the map is a lie because Greenland is too large. And then she points out that the map tells you that it's distorted. Right. Map is not a lie. It's, it, it, it's just a very difficult way to show something. Well, here's to, the argument that, they, that these flat earthers keep making is that they put the people in charge of the conspiracy put the truth in front of you in like inconspicuous places so that when you find the truth and it becomes undeniable, they can be like, we've been telling you guys the truth the whole time, which is Asinine. I actually, I actually want to see what her point is because yeah. at this point, I'm not sure if she's arguing that people don't have a good idea on the map or if she's making a flat Earth argument because one of those arguments is true. Yeah, that yeah it's true that we don't have a good map. You're right. Yeah. So, well, we do. It's it's a globe. A globe is a very good map. But, but that's not the map that most people are taught coming up through school. Um, Neither is that one in most places. They use right. they use the, the, the split enough. one. But I, I want to see your point. Okay. I, I want right. to see the point Let's she's see. making. You're, I don't think she has one. Are you saying it's the map gone. is wrong? <laughs> oh dear, yes. Now they've gone to West now Wind. Look at Greenland. Which is a very good... Okay. Now look at Africa. Okay. The two land masses appear to be roughly the same size. Yes. Would it blow your mind if I told you that Africa is in reality 14 times larger? Yes. Hmm. Here we have hmm. Europe drawn considerably larger than South America. When it's 6.9 million square miles, South America is almost double the size of Europe's 3.8 million. Alaska appears three times as large as Mexico when Mexico is larger by <laughs> point 0.1 million square miles. Germany appears in the middle of the map when it's in the northernmost quarter the of the Earth. Bigger. Wait, wait. Relative <laughs> size is one thing, but you're telling me that Germany isn't where we think it is? Nothing's where you think it is. Where is it? I'm glad you asked. Not only right, things like that, okay. but okay. Na so, so, Nationals. So, I mean, I love that. those are both really good points. They are. They are. The, if you take the globe and you put it on a flat map, it doesn't work. It, it distorts things, and nothing is where you think it is. So yeah. taking Great something three-dimensional and making it two-dimensional kind of fucks it up. I, I, you also got the other point that, that, that while West Wing is one of my favorite shows of all time, I don't use it to do my scientific research. So um, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's what I should start doing. Is, is yeah. well, I mean, but I think that was a very well done segment. I think I had a great point. I mean, uh, I'm, 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 I, not, I'm not sure what. I, I, I don't think the. While I think there was a good point, I don't think it was his point. Well, that's fine. I, I yeah. think both of those segments made really good points. Yeah, yeah. 
I've used them in class before. There we go. Okay, go ahead. NASA can't even make the same layout twice for some reason. Notice in these official NASA images that the layout of the Earth is never the same. In 2002, North America is this size. In 2012, it's this size. And in 2015, it's yet again a totally different size than both of those. But the fact of the matter is, none of these pictures are real anyway. NASA That's employee Rob Simmon has gone true. on record yeah. saying that the Earth is photoshopped because it has to be. It is photoshopped, but yeah. it's it's has to be. There's artistry to creating the world. It, what I imagine it to be. Um, unfortunately, I'm not an astronaut. <laughs> I've never been to space. Okay, now, stop that for a minute. Have okay, so so I, I see this used a lot by the flat earthers, where mm -hmm. they, they take this one quote and they say, "Of course, it's photoshopped. It has to be." Well, I would agree with them. It it does have to be. So do um. So do photos of microscopic organisms. Yeah. So does um, every flat earth map I've ever seen. Yeah. Also that. Um, but yeah, they're photoshopped because they have to be. You, you pull out um, you know, elements that make it less clear. Um, and, and on top of that, like there's a whole field dedicated to... Um, uh, artistic renderings of of scientific sure sure uh, fuck my words it's the, the, it, it is difficult think about this is one of the most majestic th things that you'll ever see here and it's not something that is easily captured on on on, on a screen well and i want to address something that he's saying with the size now yeah, again yeah. i don't I don't know enough about these images to, 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 to know why there's discrepancy. I do know they haven't produced the photos, so again, you're not actually proving your point. You're disproving these photos. But even so, we look at these here on, on, on the camera, and, and you know, if you're watching YouTube at home, and we say, ah, that's a globe, so they should all be the same size. But that, that's not actually a globe. That is a 2D projection of a globe. That is yeah. a yeah. picture of a globe. So again, you get the same distortion issues on a 2D projection of a globe, whether it's done through a photo you or do. whether it's done through a map, uh, that, that distorts your size depending on what angle you're sitting at. And, and, and you also have a situation where, depending on where that satellite is, the perspective would be different uh, from, from what you're shooting at. Right. Yeah. So, so if you ever want to see this in action, if you've ever seen the pictures of the sidewalk artist who draw these like... It looks like there's a Coke machine sitting there, mm -hmm. but when you walk up on it, it's all like this huge like yeah. street painting. Yeah. That thing's a huge painting, but it looks like a little bitty you know, real. Yeah. thing sitting there whenever you're at a distance. So again, you get the same distortion effects that you do in those when you you're looking alongside. You also have the, the situation, uh, and, and, and NASA will admit it, that, that most of these shots are composite. They're, they're, yeah. they're, not, they're not actual photographs. It's not a snapshot in time. It's a composite of, 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 of snapshots in order, again, to get, to get the truth. A snapshot does not always show you the truth. Uh, you know, if you've had a really, really crappy day, but somebody took a picture of you while you were smiling, that's not the truth of that day. God, right. So, same concept here. It, it's not. A, it's not a. It's the truth is not the snapshot. It's the composite of the stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't. I don't see the problem with this. Yeah. So anyway, many okay. pictures of the Earth. It's 2017, and you think this is normal? Maybe because we can't leave the Earth, just like in the flat Earth model which has a sky barrier known as <laughs> hold the on, hold on, pause the this. dome. The flat earth model, as yeah. if there's only one, first as if of all. there's only one. And, and I like that sun and moon that are the same size. So I like yeah. the galaxy back here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually can't Just tell, is out. that galaxy inside or outside it's of out. the... It's, it's outside. Yeah, yeah. Well, it also looks like there are kind of clouds outside the firmament is, as well. Is there a second sun up there in the background? There's mm -hmm. something up there um, at the top. Yeah, there's, there's... Well, and here's my question. How did they get out of the dome to take this photo? CGI. It's clearly it, a fake it's clearly photograph. CGI. Yeah. It's clearly CGI. I think that disproves the flat Earth that, model. That's right. Yeah. That's right. As much as photos of Earth as a sphere would. Oh, lordy. Okay, go ahead. NASA tries to be clever and say that ass. we can't leave the Earth due to the Van Allen radiation belt. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to, and we're building these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually. 
The kinds of technologies that we're testing out on space station are definitely helping us with our goals of going beyond low Earth orbit. But if Body you're smart, awkward as fuck. you know that this is a cover for the dome. We can't <laughs> if you're smart. People. I mean, Bill Nye, the science guy, even tells you this straight mm. up. Well, one thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the Earth. Well, one thing I really want your generation <laughs> to embrace is that the Earth is a closed system. I thought he was talking about living outside of the Earth. Stop that you otherwise. Not so, I wasn't <laughs> convinced, but then they played it again in slow motion. That helped. That helped. Now that I've seen it in slow motion. Bill Nye in slow motion could, could tell me I mean, anything. Well, see, here's the deal. Anybody who is a globularist is clearly stupid. So when you speak at a normal speed, their brains can't process it as effectively. So you have Round to heads. slow so, it So here's my down. question. If, if we're going to look As opposed to, to what, flatheads? Apparently, apparently. If, if we're, if, if we're going picture. to look to Bill Nye as an authority, <laughs> do we get to look at his whole body of work or do we only get to pick the, the quotes we want? So if Were Bill, GMOs not okay for a while, and now they are okay? Yeah, did they become okay? Yeah. So if, if, if you can pull a single quote from Bill Nye, which was taken out of the context of what he was speaking about, yeah. but right. let's, let's, let's assume that he had some broader message. Do we think it's take every time he said the Earth was a globe and like weigh those against each other? Also, if I find one flat earther who later said the Earth was a globe, do I get to take that and say, look, your authority... Has now admitted yeah, the yeah, truth. Yeah, I mean, he changed yeah. his mind. Um, okay, so so Bill Nye said something once, talking about colonizing and terraforming yeah. other planets. He's right. He's, he, I, I agree with what Bill Nye said there. If the, you play, played the whole thing, I think it would make a whole lot of sense. The, yeah. uh, the Earth is a closed system. But, yeah. but let's assume that 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 we're wrong, and that's not what he was talking about. So let's take Bill Nye's authority and just trust what he says, because Bill Nye says it's a globe. He does. He does. Yeah. So, um, that's, that, that's why he talks about global warming, not flat Earth warming. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Not disc warming. Yeah. Not 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 yeah. the fact that we need to put a hole in the dome to it's get not, the it's heat It's not out. frisbee warming. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Not that we need Bill Nye to figure this out because we don't. He's a paid for we liar. We don't. But they put He's a fucking liar. liar. So later when it becomes paid too for a liar much who to told bear, the truth, they can Whatever. just say, "Well, we've been telling you the whole time." But you act like you don't hear it, and you just make excuses for why they say these things. And it's ridiculous. It is. It's ridiculous. You can observe ridiculous. for yourself that water <laughs> does not curve. <laughs> Hold on. Funny. People okay. Hold the phone. Water doesn't curve, ever. Ever. E e even... Oh, my God. No, okay. no, it's true. If you've ever put, uh, put some water in a cylinder... Now it it's not convex, but it's also not fucking flat. When you're measuring it, you have to find the bottom of the. Uh, hold on, what's the word? With the bottom of the Menis meniscus. It's meniscus, but menis I was looking for the word curve. Okay, but, but okay, let, let, let me defend. Let, let, my point was that it's curved. Yeah. Let me defend them for just a little bit because that that effect does not scale. Fine. So you're looking but, at an effect that has a whole, a whole added up thing of what a, a quarter inch, eighth inch, you know, somewhere in there. On a small scale, yeah. And would have the exact same effect. But on you're still going to see adhesion at the edges. Of a and some curve. To an eighth Fine. of an inch. Yeah, but isn't that you know, you know that's what that's what uh, raindrops are though is is adhesion right? And they are. Right. They're that's unequivocally what, saying, though, that water doesn't curve. And that's that also it finds what allows, its level. It's also what allows uh, the, the bugs to, to, to run across the surface of the, of, of the water, right? I, 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 yeah, yeah I, it's surface tension. Yeah. I, I'm going to defend them here just like I, I've defended uh, um, you know, NASA and everything else and say that you're, you're taking a statement to an extreme in, in, in a manner to... to there's so many ways we can discuss. If I had this. seen any give to them on this particular, I would be willing to give them that. But they've repeatedly made this this blanket nope. claim. I, but, but, no, I, I don't think of flat earthers that die, deny the meniscus of, of a measuring vessel. I, I don't think yeah. that's a serious argument well, they're I, making. I, I, but, but I think but they, it's a straw man. They are making the argument that water doesn't curve, and water does curve. We have 
pictures of it. They're yeah. making an argument about the, the non-existence of gravity. Yeah. Which yeah. I think is, is a great place to attack them. Yeah. I think meniscus is, is, is pushing. Okay. okay. You know. I do want to point out before we continue that if you look at this this picture of the earth that they have here. Clearly photoshopped. It's curved. <laughs> it is. It's got a curve to it. Isn't that amazing? It's yeah. curved. But it's not round. It's not spherical. Not it's got You're a, right. It's got a mountain. But it's also not flat. I've got to point out that... They say water finds its level, though. i got to tell you that the, the uh, I've seen this particular Earth before. When I watched the movie Thor Ragnarok, this is where the, uh, um, this is where the gods live. They, this is what their, their Earth looked like. Oh, oh I so, see. So uh, nice. this, is, this is clearly... Uh, Valhalla. Thor, Valhalla. No, Valhalla is the heaven. What, uh, uh, Asgard. Yeah. Asgard yeah. was like this on, on, on the Thor Ragnarok. So... Uh, if they can use West Wing as their example, I guess they could, I, I can use that one. You see the sun's outside the dome? Yeah. <laughs> this is all and it's fading into, like it's it's being covered by some something, space. Something. Maybe yeah. it's this slipping is, into an alternate dimension. This is, is clearly a photoshopped lie by the flat earthers. Oh, yeah. And the, uh, I'm looking at, Fucking this doesn't liars. so much have a have a have have an ice wall. It doesn't. As the ice is hanging off the edge, like, the wa- like it's water falling over. Yeah, and, it kind of looks like, yeah, a waterfall, really. It's a one, where's the new water coming from? Um, if there's water falling off the edge, where's the new water coming right. from? It leaks right. from Is there the a dome. fucking fountain on the North Pole? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It leaks from the dome. Oh, is, is that rain. what it is? It's, it's what rain. It is. Hold on, there's no dome here. You just can't see it. It's, it's, That's because this is a Photoshop lie. Oh, no, Photoshop no, lie, I no. got you. Remember, remember the sun's inside the dome, so you just can't see it. It's outside the picture. Is it like it's a mushroom the top then? <laughs> is it a sphere? Or can can the dome be a sphere? Is that too much? All right, let's let's go on now. This is getting ridiculous. People will say that like raindrops video. prove that water does curve. But have you ever seen a gallon of water in the form <laughs> of a sphere? Let alone 326 quintillion gallons of water? I have never well, at seen least that. That's how much water they tell us is on earth. Should we believe them? Probably not. But we do know that it's a lot of water. <laughs> Hashtag fake news. Either way, you've it's, never seen any right. experiment show water. that a good amount of it's water can of curve water. or take the shape of a sphere. Yeah, yeah, I have. I've so seen a globe. So your raindrop <laughs> argument doesn't work. If you actually take the time to look into the flat Earth and all of its angles, it becomes 100% crystal clear that we do not live on a spinning ball flying through infinite space. Some folks say that it would be impossible to be nighttime and daytime on a flat earth at the same time. But if you actually looked, then you would know that it's completely possible. Because the sun is closer and smaller day and night at the same time. Just in that area alone. Stop it for just a second. Of course it would be possible. While he's doing this, I want you all to look at the North Pole. And I want you to realize that on this whole picture, it is never darkness in the North Pole on this bus. Right. It's light the whole time. So there's... I understand that there's there's you know weeks and months of daylight, but there's never darkness here. Right. Okay. Go ahead. Here's what I want you to notice. Well, you see how this this lit area kind of flattens out near the North Pole <laughs> and elongates near the South Pole. It's almost like this is a 3D model of a of something round of a globe, yeah. and somebody yes. put some like yes. white white Photoshop around the edge and was too cheap to make their own image. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to throw that out there. Go, go ahead. Well, on a bigger scale. Now, this brings me to the division that Flat Earth has caused among the so-called truth community. A lot of people that suffer heavily from cognitive dissonance say that the Flat Earth information is a psyop, and it only serves to divide us and discredit those of us that see the information as correct. You weren't aware that it was a psyop? Hold on. So, the conspiracy theory community (laughs) has decided that the Flat Earth conspiracy theory is a conspiracy theory Theories, theory? No, no, no. They're saying that the people that are trying to discredit it are saying that it's a psyop. Listen, hey, I'm, let me let me give you some let me give you some reassurance, flat Earth community. Oh, God, I'm Nobody so is accusing you guys of being that organized. <laughs> right. Nobody. 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 True. That's never happened. Especially yeah. not anybody in this room. Um, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. But this is not true. It's only an excuse for cowards that are scared of the information for one reason or another. Some Are people don't want to accept Terrified. the flat earth because of the implications of a creator. Some people or can't science. accept it because of the mental conditioning coming from schools and television that they have been dealing with their whole life. Whatever the reason, I can understand up to a certain extent 
But if you have really dove into the flat earth, that light really does elongate on a round surface. Like you let go of your preconceived notions of what the earth is and you examined it unbiasedly. There's no way, no way that you would come back thinking that the earth is a spinning ball. No way. You may come to the conclusion that you honestly just don't know. Or you may be 100% sure that the earth is indeed flat. But you would never accept the heliocentric model of the universe after genuinely looking into the yeah. flat earth for a good amount of time. Which leads me There's to There's no North Pole on here. That flat earth has In fact, I think they've blacked it, it out. Has caused division. What the flat earth has done is divide the real that white thing was Greenland from the run of the mill people that don't know the truth when it slaps oh, them no, in the face. Oh, no, that was totally right, legit. The flat earthers that I it. interact with. We look. I, I don't. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. This may be the real one. Hold up, guys. Was, was this taken from. Oh, wait. It's outside the dome. Oh. That's how we know it's fake. Yes, because the picture's taken outside Maybe the dome. Maybe they're up against the dome. Hey, I didn't think you could get past the dome. You can't. That's so, how. Okay. This is a CGI fakery. This is a CGI fakery. Okay. All right. Just I'm looking for the check. real deal, guys. If are the most logical. Hey, I down thought the sun and moon were the same size. And they have amazing sense. Another yeah. excellent yeah. intuition. That it's a CGI Don't get fakery. me wrong. There are people that are imitating flat earthers, and they pretend to be absolutely batshit crazy in order to I discredit that. the flat earth. And there's most likely Just like flat earthers. crazy <laughs> people that are flat earthers. Yes. Or at yes. least they come off as crazy, so it's not good for the flat earth cause. But that's to be expected. There's some very crazy yeah. people in this world, flat earthers or not. So anyway, what gets me is Agreed. people that claim flat earth is a complete psyop and it's bullshit, like Zachary K. Hubbard, for instance. The dude hates flat earth so much and thinks it's stupid that we debate the shape of the earth while it's quote unquote on fire. The flat earth theory which has been pushed on the truth community for going on two years. <laughs> Hold on, pause this. We have to read this out loud. I mean, I know people oh, are watching, beautiful. but Zachary K. Hubbard, proven liar, and also sucks terribly at predicting the outcome of sports games. That's amazing. He's a liar, and he's really bad at this totally <laughs> irrelevant thing to the topic that we're discussing. But I want to point how I want to point out how bad he sucks. And two equal what bad the sins. Actual fuck? Two equally bad sins. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. But but the world's on fire. So let's uh, let's go ahead and go. Three I want to see pictures of that. To distract us from things that are important. For example, we live on Earth. It doesn't matter what shape Earth is. Earth is on fire. <laughs> Have we fire. all agreed that, that we and live on Earth? And for all of you who've made it your priority to argue what shape the Earth is while the Earth is on fire, just think about what you're doing. Why are we debating the Earth Why the Earth is on fire, he says. I think he's kind of an idiot, Yet too. he has oh, no yeah. problem making videos about what he eats for breakfast. Hey, true seekers, <laughs> welcome back. Zach here. A lot of people ask me, what do I eat for breakfast? This guy says we're stupid. Well, he's stupid, too. I say no one's ever asked you what you eat for breakfast. I call bullshit. I, I agree with him. Yes, I, I don't fine. think anybody's ever asked him. I'm a routine guy. I eat the same thing almost every single day and this is just how I make it. I normally have oatmeal and tea for breakfast. I don't use instant oats, I use regular oats, but I make it just like this. I just pour <laughs> hot water straight from the uh, teapot. You got a notepad, I need to take notes. Why is this yeah, on right. this? If, if the, the earth's earth... on fire, why would you waste time telling us what you eat for breakfast? My lady oh! does that on her Instagram. He's getting laid. I am thoroughly surprised. Or maybe she. Oh, a little lady shame in here. Uh, I don't yeah. know. I, I don't know. I have... Wow. Got your results back. And, uh, what the fuck is uh, this? I'm sorry, but the test was positive. Oh, never mind. You're a basic bitch. The guy has to was be this one necessary? of the biggest idiots on YouTube, and he has been caught lying several times. Yes, I gave him a shout in my pizza Just like video, flat earthers. But that's before I even started watching him. I mean, that was the, the only video I seen from him at that point was I one seen. Pizzagate video. And I oh, thought the information was good. But his... The, think... guy pre the guy preaching Flat Earth apparently also believes in Pizzagate. I just want to point that out here. <laughs> yeah. That all the, the people who were the biggest in promoting Pizzagate have come out and said, oops, we were wrong and that was bad of us. But this guy still believes Pizzagate. Yeah, he, he's, he's going to argue with him about the shape of the earth. But the place he can find common ground <laughs> is Pizzagate. 
It oh, wasn't, however, his sports predictions. No, no, he could no. not agree with him on his sports. I, 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 I do want to want to want to agree with the uh, the host of this show on one thing that that I don't give a shit about what what Zach had for for breakfast. Yes, agreed. Yeah, yes. yeah. So, so uh, or what he thinks, what either of them think on PizzaGate. Yeah, thumbs actually. up, thumbs up to you on that one. Uh, yeah, okay. you did something right. Yeah, Good go job. ahead. Go ahead. This channel is about how sports are rigged, and you can tell by using gematria on the games, dates, players, and whatnot. But he has never had it right anyway. He had the Giants and the Colts for this year's Super Bowl based on that information. (laughs) And, well, neither of them are even in the running anymore. He doesn't get sports right. You don't get the shape of the earth right. Or what's the bigger sin there? saying the whole time. He does it all the time. In the Bible. All sins are equal. Sorry, I'm getting I a little carried away I think picking the Colts for the Super Bowl Zach. is a bigger sin. But he's the perfect example of a fake-ass truth heathen. seeker, and he only serves as confirmation bias for others that don't want nothing to do with oh flat Don't want God. nothing to reason. do with what they've seen. And I'll give you another example. Please. What is real is a YouTube channel that doesn't like Flat Earth. I've spoke with him before, and he just can't accept it. He says he hates it. Good God. This Here is he is me. on one of Zachary's videos expressing how the flat earth makes him sick first off emotions don't have a place in the truth movement second when anyone makes an anti-flat earth video he's on it ready to support because it's reinforcing his belief in the spinning ball earth which is all he wants to hear hear what he i love how this is um okay so this is a comment on a flat earth video yes uh, and not that this proves anything. No. By the way, uh, he used TubeBuddy, great tool. Um, I would recommend it for anyone trying to get into YouTube. A uh, little plug there because they, they help us so much. Anyway. I'm sure they'll appreciate that on this Earth, video. Flat Earth makes me sick. And then here's this like Excuse response <laughs> of like your, your channel's stupid. Um, <laughs> I love how what is real has gotten more likes on his comment <laughs> on their video. Uh, you should have blurred that out. Than their own response oh, has. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh. It's, it's so it's so sad. Okay, go ahead. Anyway. He already believes. He doesn't want to hear the truth. He doesn't want to accept the truth. Not what I'll, the actual truth is. Now, people like Please. that don't belong in Enlighten the truth me. movement. Therefore, Can the we division this? is okay by me. It makes me really sad that they've branded this thing as the truth movement. Uh, and I'm not even just talking about flat earth, but all of the conspiracy theory bullshit. Can can we we have a t-shirt that says says, says the truth movement on it with with our our logo? <laughs> Play. <laughs> flat earth has given me good reason to pay attention to people. It's simple, really. If they are flat earthers, then they have the ability to overcome cognitive dissonance. Therefore, they are sincere in their pursuit of truth. Not all flat earthers, though, because some are obvious shills. But also, you don't have to be a flat earther for me to take you seriously. It's just that flat earthers <laughs> and ball earth skeptics that admit they don't know He's got to be reading have from more something credibility he's because I don't flat know. earth but is the truth. I'm glad that but I just I got called a baller. I anybody who hasn't taken the time to look at flat earth. It's the when only you time you've been called a baller in your life. And you conclude that it's bullshit <laughs> is when Producer I have a problem his head. with someone or I stop paying attention to someone. There's no use in me wasting my time on someone that can't even admit the truth to themselves. That's, That's how true. I see it. Flat Earth has been everything but proven 100%. <laughs> <But when you laughs> Hold expect, on! There's a 500-year and running conspiracy pauses. You gotta, to hide pauses, the truth. In fact, I gotta go back and hear that statement Five, again. 500 years. 500 years now it's been proven. It's been It's been everything but proven uh, right. All but proven. <laughs> all but, including proven There's wrong. There's no use in me wasting my time on someone that can't even admit the truth to themselves. <laughs> That's how I see We're it. We're not going to slow Flat this down Earth for you. Flat Earth has been everything but proven 100%. <laughs> Flat Earth has been but everything what do you but expect? proven 100%. There's a 500 year and running okay. conspiracy to hide the truth from us. It's not like it's supposed to be extremely easy I, to figure out. Do you know how That's hard it would be to keep a conspiracy going for 500 years? The truth what is that, like 40 generations? <laughs> 20 generations? <laughs> Even the young earthers believe the earth is 6,000 years old, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I, is there anyone disputing 6,000? Six, six to thousand? eight. Six to eight, yeah. yeah, yeah fine, yeah. fine. Six to eight. And so for 500 years of that, <laughs> 500 years of that, they've been lying, and we just can't figure the fuck out. 
the 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 other what what fifty five hundred to seventy five hundred years like in those in that amount of time they couldn't overcome the five hundred no, years. It, you know your problem is you're not fucking organized. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. It's not like it's supposed to be extremely easy to figure out. That's the whole point with it truth. Seems seeking. pretty easy. People have covered up the truth, and we are trying to uncover it. It's not supposed to be a piece of cake. So leave your <sighs> Man, ego okay. behind if you're really about the truth. Because this is bigger than all of us. It's not about me. It's not about, it's about the size Dubai. of the earth. <laughs> it's not about Jaronism. It's not about who or, or the shape at least or whatnot. It's about the truth and getting it across to people in the most successful way possible. And that's it. All I want is to see people wake up and take their power back. At least take yeah, their minds agree with that. back. That's where the power is. That's yes, what they've right. done to us. They've taken our minds. The flat earth truth does away with all of the mind control. It Why does is it away always with they the do theory it? of evolution. It does away with the dinosaur. Okay, okay, stop. <laughs> stop. The, the bogus theory of evolution. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm, I've seen this so many places. So, you know, we talked about this a little bit in the show. That's their thing. Is the the, the globe was the model they had to use to produce a, a stellar evolution, the Big Bang. All of that comes back to the globe model, and it is all a way to refute the Bible. Oh my God! That, that's the reasoning they give for, is, for why uh, the, the no. I'm telling you, these, these if, are if, if you're if you're denying that evolution happened, then we have a different problem. We have you, know, you're, you have no comprehension of science. Um, I, I can't. I can't. No, I, I'm telling you, whenever you're on the outside, and and they're trying to convince you, when you do a search like you don't know, you get these like pseudo scientific responses. When you start to get in like you're one of them. They're quoting the Bible. This is a, a subsect of a fundamentalist Christian movement that believes that this is like some devil worship. I don't like know. I'm, yeah. I'm I'm a Christian, and you know, even the Pope says evolution's real now. Right, and, and I'm not saying that it's all Christians, but I'm telling you, this is like an extreme. But Christianity is the base for this. Yeah. Well, some of it. Yeah, I think I think the wing nuts are the base of this. I, I, well, yeah. I mean, I think but they're doing it to try to prove. Well, and that's that's exactly what I said in uh, the episode that we did on this, is they've left faith behind. Um, because your Christianity is based yep. on faith, right? Yep. Can't prove it, but you, you have faith in it and you yep. believe that it's real. And what they're trying to do is prove um, physically that Christianity is real. Um and so those are the experiments that they're doing. Um, those are these theories that they're putting out about how it is, or hypotheses that they're putting out about the structure of the earth and everything, is so that they can have some sort of physical reference that they, they don't need to have faith with yeah, anymore. Yeah, I, I don't paint all Christians with this brush, right. but to me it, it's the exact same thing as when somebody blows themselves up in the name of Muhammad. I don't think that's all Muslims, but right. that, yeah. that yeah. is Muslims do it. Yeah, and yeah this, this isn't Christianity, but they are using Christianity as their These are base. Christians. Th th that is, you I, know. I, I think, I think a large part of them are. I think yeah. there's also a lot that are that, that it has nothing to do with Christianity too. And fine, just crazy. But uh, but I, I I I agree with you. Okay, yeah. go and ahead. The, and there are also a lot of trolls. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it does away with the lie that there are aliens out there. And though we still end up with okay. more questions than answers, because our they can't minds get in through free, the firmament, and that's Done. how real change is going to happen in this Pause. world of ours. There aren't aliens because God didn't make aliens, or the Bible would have said so. He made the earth special and made the earth the center of the universe. This is their proof that humans are special. There are aliens. I saw them crossing the crossing the border, and Trump said he was going to stop them with a wall. Is it with a nice wall? wall? It's, it's a very nice it's wall. It's an ice wall. <laughs> it's an ice wall. <laughs> How the fuck are they going to put an ice wall can we just, in it, that part of the world? It's, it's Texas. hot as dicks there. Air conditioning. You, well, you certainly can't put a firmament there. That's true. Yeah. All right. Sorry, go ahead. Thanks, everybody, for listening. This has been oh, over. It's going like a god church. What the All fuck? All right, just turn that crap yeah, off. close that. That's fine. Uh, that, was, uh, that, was, that. that was something uh, a, little, a little different. Um, what do you all think? Well, <laughs> apparently, apparently we're, we're done. out of here. <laughs> producer is ready to end this show. <laughs> like, Fuck you guys, we're done. So, did he have any? Did, did, 
Anything about that that, that made sense to you? I, I mean, I think there were some... That, okay, we covered this in our conspiracy theory show, right? I think there were some facts sprinkled in there, right? Yeah. I, I, I think so. Um, the fact that in a, a large bucket of water, water's more or less flat. Yeah. More or less. That, that, that was a fact. Um, the 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 fact that the flat map the the, the rectangle of yeah, flat doesn't is work. a distortion it yeah. doesn't yeah. work I, yeah I think there were some facts sprinkled in there they they misquoted Bill Nye but he did say that he, he did said, but uh, I mean again go back and listen to our episode I think our episode was much more convincing than this Abs- I, I do too I do too you know I, ours at least convinced our producer we were right oh, yeah. uh, I don't think this but one convinced not anybody our regular not our producer. regular producer our our, our guest producer yes. yeah. But um, but even we like we came in like this is bullshit. We like we just googled <laughs> some shit and put it together and made some shit up, and and we came with a better thing than, yeah, than he yeah, could yeah. when when he's a true believer. Yeah, you know? he spent ten months, ten, ten months. months, ten whole months. Yeah, not partial months. He's an expert yeah. now. He's an expert. Every single day would get up and spend. And you know what ten. I bet? Yeah, I bet he can predict sports good too. <laughs> I'm sure he can. With oh, yeah. gematria or whatever. Yeah. This, was, yeah. this was kind of fun to do a, a, yeah. a response video. Well, and, and the thing about it is, what I can appreciate about uh, the flat earthers or the thing this guy is calling the truth movement, I can appreciate looking with a critical eye at things that you've absolutely. been told your entire life are Question true. Question everything. However, um, I think it's flawed when you come at it expecting that everybody's been lying to you your whole life. Um, I don't think that should be... When that's just the government most of the time. (laughs) Um, But I I don't think that that should be the driving factor. Um, I don't think that should be your initial expectation. Especially when you can take a look at it and say there would have to be a couple billion people all around the world when we're at, what, seven and a half billion or something like that? I don't know. Something like that. Um, buttload. We're at a buttload. We're at a buttload. And you would need like a third of a buttload to pull this off. I like your, I like your measurements. <laughs> you, you need a third of a buttload. Yeah. yeah. And you, you got, what, what did we say the membership was, 500? Yeah. 500 Which as is, of 2017 for that particular that's like a uh, load. flat earth society. You know, you know, the yes. most telling thing to me was of like everything I've seen from flat earth. If you look, I don't know if it was their last convention or the one before, but at, at one of their conventions, flat earth convention, by the way, I think I'm going to the next one. Yeah. Uh, but well, at, their next one's in November of this year. I may be making a trip soon. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty serious about going to this convention. But at Flat Earth Con, they took a so they put a billboard up in the the town where they where they were holding it when you came in, and so they like had a group of them venture out to the billboard and take a picture with it in the background, and you know what their like cheese was? We're not crazy. <laughs> when that has to be your mantra, I think you may you. Thou doth protest too much. Yeah. We, we, we've been, we've been to libertarian conventions and we don't have to do that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should like take a look at the number of people that think that you're crazy and and look at it skeptically and say, you know what? Maybe we're wrong. Maybe, maybe, maybe. that's the conspiracy. Yeah. 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 Maybe it is. I, I don't even know what that I, means. I, 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 will, I, will, I will give him one thing that... that, that it's, a, it's an unpopular opinion that he has, and he's he's willing to put his put put his name out there and all. And you know, I'll give somebody credit for, for sticking to that and trying yeah. it. Yeah. I think you're wrong, but you know, respect yeah. to you for you know for for at least trying. Yeah, at least questioning something. No, I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I'm not going to give him that. I'm not going to give him that because if I believe in the tooth fairy, and all evidence to the contrary, and I'm sticking to it, I'm a dumbass. I'm sorry. Well, okay, but, but it, it still takes balls to get out there and say I believe this I'll, and, I'll, and, and, and putting. Yeah, you know. I'll, I'll give him that for, for putting himself out there. I'm not giving him anything for his convictions because they're dumb convictions. Okay, yeah. that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, well, this was a uh, this was fun. This has been fun. Uh, we've enjoyed it. We hope you have too. Uh, don't forget, you can find us on social media by searching Six Pack Philosophy. You can do the same thing on Teespring to get some really cool swag. And if you enjoy the show, you can help support it and make sure that we can produce totally amazing content for you by joining our Patreon at patreon.com slash sixpackphilosophy. Also, that way we can CGI pictures of the earth. Yes. If you like, th- this is kind of a new format for us. <laughs> if you like this video, 
go ahead and click that like button. Let us know that this... Leave a comment if this yeah. is the sort of thing you're into. Yeah, we, we can do more of these. Yep. Yeah. Fun. Yep. Yep. Or if this isn't what you're into and you want to see something else, let us know and we'll think about it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Anyway, yep. thank you guys so much for tuning in. We've had fun and we hope you have too. Cheers. 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 Are you going to cheers with that? That's... Okay, then. Six Pack Philosophy is supported by independent philosophers just like you. If you would like to support us, go to sixpackphilosophy.com and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 